morning, friends. She's stealing my line. Hello, my friends. I'm Albert. That's Panama. Hi, guys. How you doing? Welcome to a new adventure for the Fatados here. The Rebels. <laughs> Well, good morning, my friends. Here we are at the marina. We're about to board the privilege and uh, got to wait for the inspector and whoever else is going to be joining us this morning. I'm not sure who it will be, but Albert's already looking underneath uh, the privilege to see where he can see. Yeah, I see that. All right, I'm going to go inside and look around. I'll see you up there. He's got to see everything that's going on, so that's pretty cool. He's excited and, uh, and nervous about it, which is understandable. So let me go see what's up there. Is a little cleaning but she looks beautiful oh look at this somebody's working on that uh, the mast they pull it all down let's see what's going on here Well, and a lot of it is like what the picture said. Storage for the alcoholics, but not alcoholics. I drink a little bit of wine. Albert doesn't drink. Once in a while, I'll have uh, a cocktail. Three burner stove. It's gonna take a little getting used to something uh, very different than what I'm used to. Here he comes. I knew he'd climb aboard one of these days. See anything different? Ah, yes. Come on inside. Take off your, sh uh, your shoes since they're hurting. They're not comfortable. But somebody's been working on the math, as you can see. Okay. Yeah. They got the music on. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go to Starboard to see if there's anything different down here. Okay, the aft cabin on the Starboard side. Nice and dry and clean from what I can see. I don't know what I'm looking at, but it's clean, it's dry, that's a good sign. Okay, little storage gobbies. Here we 
go. Okay, the stop bathroom. Can you believe how many cabinets are on this? Storage cabinets. Here's a nice big deep one. It's about 18 inches uh, deep, 12 inches, maybe 15 inches wide. That's one. Two, this is maybe about 30 inches by 17, 18 inches deep. So that's two, three, the same size. Let's go over here. Four. Okay. This is for odds and ends, but it's really not uh, storage. But you can put a few things there. And then this is an electrical, whatever it's for. Still have to learn about what it, it's all about. And this here, of course, would be the water tank with uh, how much water is in the on the tank, the indicator. Okay, the forward cabin with the drawers for storage storage back here with a closet hanging closet that is okay shelves for storage and the forward shower shower and sink combination so I guess Maybe I could put up a, um, a shower curtain, I guess, to keep the, the wood door dry. This is what I had not looked at. A little bit for shampoo and cleaners. Okay, let's go back up. Let's get the little desk here. In the starboard side, we still don't know what this is. The pictures show this, but it doesn't tell us what this little corner is here. Yeah, it's got quite a bit of storage, and this is just one side. Let's go to the other side. Okay. So now we're going to the part side, looking around. That's the uh, nav station here. Guaranteed. The interest that I got is guaranteed. My new contract. What? Sorry about that, guys. Let's go down here, and this is the other aft cabin that's got the engine. Again, dry. It's clean. Here's another closet. Glasses are a little bit small on uh, boats, but it's enough uh, for the clothing. One of these will be my closet alone. I think I might take two or three closets and give Velvet one. Okay, little cubbies. They're not that big, but uh, it holds a few bucks, a few knickknacks some of Albert's uh not knickknacks I don't like knickknacks per se but uh some of Albert's uh wood turning bowls and vases we got a few of those okay up here is behind the nav station and then in here oh, oh wow look at this look at this I can put a lot of stuff in here again it's maybe about 20 inches deep on this side. This is behind the nav station. It's got the two shelves. Okay, and I believe from the pictures, this is all electrical, an electrical panel, all the wiring. Going forward. OK. 
Okay, we've got another closet here. Bones, mops, hanging clothes. I guess it could be a wet locker too. There's a drain at the bottom. But a hook here to hang up a broom or a mop. Pretty cool. Okay. Oh, it opens this way. I'm looking to see where the handle was. More storage. I can put all my pots and pens in here with a rack or food. We'll see. We'll see how things work out because I also have this under here, both sides. You're going to have to bear with me. I'm not good with the camera. This is new to me. Albert's very comfortable with that. So, but here's a fridge or freezer. We'll have to see. Uh, that works out. I guess it can be converted to one or the other. Okay, and the other last forward cabin. And more storage on the here. And of course, this here for all of Velvet's tools. Or whatever I need it for. It all depends on who gets here first. Me with my stuff or Elba with his tools. He's got a lot of tools, so he'll probably need it. I'll give him that. He's creative with his stuff and he's got a collection of tools he's collected over the years, but it's never enough. You always need the latest tool for whatever you're going to need to do. might be a short somewhere <sighs> well, what do you guys think it's pretty cool it's gonna be our new home where we start a new adventure so we'll see uh, what happens from here but of course to make it my own it's gonna need a good cleaning but nothing I can't tackle Let's go see where Albert is. I guess he's at the front, so let me go see what he's up to. noises so I don't see him anywhere I know he came on board I hear him I don't see him Very interesting, completely different lifestyle, but very exciting. Sure beats sitting around the house after you retire and after you put her in the garden, it's like, what do you do next? There's only so many walks one can take, even though it's always beautiful. You always see something new where in South Venice, my walks always uh, give me a little bit of an adventure with uh, the life, um, wildlife that uh, you come across, you know, anything from um, bobcats to uh, 
but usually they're afraid, so they run away from you. But plenty of bunnies, uh, all the different birds, anything from eagles to hawks, you know, of course, to the cardinal and blue jay, they're everywhere. So, as a matter of fact, in our bushes right now, we have a cardinal's nest, and that's supposed to bring you good luck, so they're watching out for us from up there. interesting the way that water is coming out from the bottom and Chris says that it's a hot water spout from a plant I guess from that plant over there that's your practicing cue Fatima get in the front and point to where that and wave at it you want me to wave at it and say come to us there you go I'm headed right for the center on it yeah it's the other ball oh it's the the one further out? Oh, I'm sorry. I know no, no. Yeah. You're fine, but it's... Yeah, I don't want to get too close and uh, exactly. get to the line coming up on the new okay. crop. Um, one, you ought to do at some point. You just put both of them in neutral. Right. And just see how far the boat carries when right. there's no boat. I haven't seen that exactly where the neutral right. position is. need to go that way just a little bit and slow down. Just uh, just let it okay. wash in. How are we doing Chris, okay? Fine, we're, we're great. 
Alright, back up a little. And it's just this thimble in this thing that just works. Pick it up. Right back. Drop it out. Yeah. And you're all clear. Now, because of these cables, yeah. I had to snatch, use the hook, okay. to bring this line up inside the V. Okay. Okay. That this, this thing for a new sailor really is a complication. Okay. Oh, but like when you get the right wind, yes. that will, this becomes probably the second best piece of equipment on the boat after the mast. Right. Once you get to use it. I am anxious. I am anxious <laughs> to uh, learn everything on this boat. There's a lot to learn. I already said that. There's no question about that. Um, Something that's really cool with, the, with these boats is Spinnakers are supposed to be really dangerous sails, you know, especially right. short-handed. Right. On a catamaran, you tie one end to that cleat, right. you tie one end to that cleat, right. you raise it up, and there's nothing to control. Right, because it will go with the wind it, slightly. You uh, just right. angle it with how you have it tied, right. to what angle it goes, and it can't collapse. Well, up to now, Fatima has to have control of the camera. It's my turn. Because she is busy. Really? Put your foot there, lean back, and just freaking steer the boat with your foot. And she's getting a little lesson from Chris. Say hello, Chris. It's, this is how I steer my boat across the Gulf Stream. Sit back, and what happens? Your brain shuts off because the, you're using your right foot. Right. The left side of your brain, the part that doesn't talk, yeah, yeah. takes control of your foot. And it just steers. You're not even thinking about it. Uh -huh. and, all, and you look, you're absolutely where you should be, right on course. You haven't thought about anything. You're reading your book, you look up, and you're right where you should be because the, your left brain is just doing yeah, it yeah. by your toes. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Good, good lesson. That's good lesson from Chris. Cool. And uh, a good lesson for Fatima. We are heading back towards the dock because the surveyor and the broker are on land right now. So Chris will be pulling it up to the dock. She's getting to be a real dare, daredevil. I mean, this thing is cruising. Tell the other guy by your 
going this way. Right, right. You can do it on the way. Okay, Fatima over. Time for a real captain to take over. We got corner lines right here. Okay, we made it to the dock and we got everybody on board right now. You did a good job. Seats and all that stuff, and molded compartments to put your stuff in, and then the tube. 
normal person. It already has the um, oh, the valve to the bottom uh, to hook up one. I think it has power over there. The only thing I don't know is if it has the line leading up to the storage tank. And that would be an easy thing. So it's all a great thing. And the other thing, it also has not a huge solar bank, but it has 600 watt tank solar panel. Yes. So we can always upgrade those and it will be an easy do. We don't have to do make a rig for the back to hold solar panels. And if you wanted to put a couple more of flex points on the top of the uh,